Micahs. Eee. How's all the honey bunnies out there? There's many places where you can get micas. I get my mica from Kaiser Glass. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with his micas. So the first thing I did was do sample test pieces on them. And this is what I did. I took a piece of black glass. I took a piece of white glass. I sprinkled a liberal amount on the glass and covered it in clear. So there's clear on top. Can you see that? But labeled them as I was doing it. Let's see, am I upside down? There we go. So as I put them on there, I labeled, I labeled, I wrote. Then I took them to the kiln, keeping them upright. So I would remember this was rose. When they came out of the kiln, I glued them to this cardstock. It's an index card or something. And so that way I knew what colors that came out. So let's see. I'm going to take this one. This is called blue. But look at what blue does on black and white. See blue? It doesn't, it doesn't stay blue. That's why the tests are so important. Well, then I did pretty much the same test. I don't know if they're in the same order. But on this one, I did it on a piece of clear without clear on top. So I would see what it would look like. There you go. Kind of nice colors, right? I got a nice sort of eerie look to it. So I was really happy with that. That can add some really neat detail if you want to make like a butterfly or something and have these really pretty eerie, this eerie quality um, on top of the glass without putting glass on top of it. What's most important about micas to know is they will change color when fired. So you want to do your tests. Only what is sticking to the glass will fuse. So everything piled above it won't stick to the glass because it's the micas in between it. So you only get this very thin layer. So when you take it out of the kiln, anything that wasn't in immediate contact with the glass rubs right off. When it's under the glass, of course, it's not going to rub off. Something you can do that's quite easy is use the stays on uh, rubber stamp pad and uh, a rubber stamp. If you're going to do the rubber stamp, um, the purple, I'm told, works the best. This is the best one um, to have the mica stick to it, this brand. And then this color is highly recommended. And quite simple to do. Ink your rubber stamp. Stamp your glass. Get some mica on it while it's still um, wet. And you sprinkle it on liberally, doesn't matter, but remember, wear a mask if you're going to be doing this. Now I want to shake this off. It's not going to fit in that container. There we go. Now you've got two options here. You can take a little brush and clean off whatever is not um, whatever's not, you know, part of the rubber stamp takes a little bit of patience. The other option is you would take a, a nice soft cloth and rub off the excess. And for the most part, it will leave your design there. I prefer the little paintbrush. I can get a little more control. I trust it more. So you would clean this up as much as possible. And again, if you leave this on top of glass, you're going to get a different look than if you cover it in clear. So if you took a piece of clear and put it on top. I think it mutes it a lot when you put the clear on top. This one was done with one of the colors and this swirly stamp pad. See, it's kind of distorted because it's under the glass, under the clear glass. Full fuse kind of distorts. Very sparkly. 